It's a celebration at a National Historic Landmark right in our backyard. I'm News 6 anchor and insider guide Crystal Moyer here at Fort King in Marion County. And if you haven't been here within the last year, you probably won't recognize this building. It's new, a reconstruction of the blacksmith shop from the 1800s. Blacksmiths from across the state, they're going to gather here over the weekend to celebrate the trade and share some history. All of its addiction. I mean, do, do I need 10 hammers? Probably not, but some of them have uh have their own uses. Justin Miller is a blacksmith and has been forging for about four years. When someone says I'm forging something, what does that mean? It's us usually using heat to make it easier to manipulate the steel with typically a hammer, or power hammer, or press. Typically, blacksmiths start with raw or scrap iron or steel, using a forge, kind of like an enclosed fireplace, to get the metal hot enough to manipulate the trade dating back to 1500 BC. It's a lot of work. It's hot. Your arms get tired. Swinging the hammer all day long will wear you out. That's why he also has a few power hammers to help. Justin's created tools, knives, and other things like steak turners. He says he's fallen in love with the hobby. Really hammer and steel, just spending time in the shop, isolating my attention on one thing. Justin's also a member of the Florida Artist Blacksmith Association. The group will be a part of Fort King's first Hammer In event, showcasing the trade and forging historical hardware and artifacts to go along with the new blacksmith shop on site. It's really neat to have a historically accurate building of a, of a real traditional blacksmith shop of the era. Um, I mean, everything that I forge in now is just usually people's garages or people's shops. While it may look like he's just beating up steel, Justin says it's important to keep the history of blacksmithing alive. If it dies, it dies and it's, you know, it could never come back again. And it's something that a lot of people enjoy. You're making a handmade product or piece of art or tool and there's not a lot of that. The Hammer and event takes place Saturday and it is free for visitors. I posted the details on the location and time at clickorlando.com slash insider. In Marion County, Crystal Moyer getting results, New 6.